I'm above I never get what you see Don't get the love song is doing well for those of you who are new to the channel welcome and to my regular subscribers big huge welcome back to you all for those of you who are new my name is Monique and in today's video I'm going to be sharing some tips with you guys which I'm very excited to do actually because I feel like I've done hauls over time and I've also given you guys some vlogs here and there but I've never shared any of my personal styling tips so I'm very excited to get down into that share some tips with you guys on basically as you guys already know by the title how to easily get dressed how to look chic how to be able to look put together so let's get started so the first tip that i want to talk to you guys about is neutrals and neutrals i feel like is just it's just a complete easy way of getting dressed. You can never ever go wrong with it. I tend to wear a lot of neutrals, especially times where I find it quite difficult finding what to wear. It's either I put on a black dress and I'm good to go or a neutral style outfit. And by neutrals in terms of color, I'm talking about your whites, your creams, browns, beige. You can even throw black in there. And of course you can even throw blue in there just to break your color coordination up a little bit. I always like to add blue in terms of like a pair of jeans or maybe like a denim style shirt. Trust me, always works. The outfit I'm wearing actually in today's video is actually quite a good example. This is actually all navy, very, very casual um, co-ord piece. This set is actually by Mango and this you could even put together in the neutral category or perhaps even in the monochrome category because it's all one tone, very, very easy to style. For those of you who are super interested in colour, this tip can also work for you. Personally, I like to go with a neutral based outfit, two or three colours or one colour, whatever your fancy. And then I like to go ahead and add a bright colour pair of shoes or maybe a different type of accessory, either a handbag, hairband, whatever. And that way you'll always have your pop of colour in there. And I also feel like having a nice neutral toned outfit or a monochrome fit and then a pop of colour in just one accessory very much gives you a high fashion feel and a high fashion look very into it i've definitely worn quite a few neutral outfits over time i'll insert some pictures here but this is definitely a great tip i feel if you really want to just easily get dressed and basically just easily look put together next up are accessories and your jewelry now this part of getting dressed is actually something that i feel is really important it's a very important step and it's actually one that I think is a bigger deal than people actually realize. And for this segment of the video, I'd like to introduce to you all a brand that I'm really pleased to be partnering up with in this part of the video. And this is a brand that I've actually purchased from before myself and I've actually had some pieces gifted to me by family and friends from previous birthdays. For me, working with this brand is important and being able to share it with you is great because this is a brand that one, I believe in, and two, I feel delivers quality pieces, which is what I'm all about. Quality pieces that can last over time, that are timeless, and that will go with every single thing in your wardrobe that you can wear year after year after year. So today's British brand is Monica Bernarda. So for me, jewelry is that part and process of getting dressed that really is the creme de la creme. It's like the sugar to your tea. It's that final part of getting dressed that really makes you feel put together and polished. Jewelry to me is really that step and part of the process in getting ready that basically it adds the finishing touches to everything. And I feel that it really elevates any outfit that you have on. But more importantly, I always find jewelry to be quite personal and personal to any individual. Personally, you will never ever find me without gold jewellery, whether that is in a photo or whether that is in any of my YouTube videos that I have put up. You will always find me wearing gold jewellery. It is literally like the key to me getting dressed and always makes me feel put together. For me, this is really the key point of me getting dressed. It's that final step for me. And for you, it may be the process of you putting the jewellery on first, then your outfit 
and spraying yourself with perfume before you go out. But for me, it's definitely that final step in being able to choose the right pieces for the outfit and really homes everything in and solidifies what I'm wearing. Without any of these, I would literally feel incomplete anytime that I get dressed. I always have to have at least one gold ring on and I always wear a pair of gold hoops. I mean, these are the type of hoops that I wear pretty much every day, but there has to be something in my ears and something on my fingers. And it really just makes everything stand out. It's personal because it's particular and I mean, you could twin in the exact same jewelry pieces as somebody else. I could twin with my sister. We could be wearing the exact same pieces and we would still look different because it's all about how you style it and make it personal to you and how you wear your outfits. But it's also about the designs that you wear and the pieces that you choose that make things stand out and make something personal to you. I always tend to wear quite dainty jewelry pieces. And I don't know whether that's because I myself am quite small and petite in both shape and height, but I tend to be quite drawn to those pieces. Um, but it's definitely pieces that I find are personal to me and pieces that I love. I will always be wearing small hoops and a very small dainty chain. And in today's video, and one that I will be wearing probably every day is the Monica Venada Doina Snake Chain Necklace that I'm now wearing, which I think is an absolute beautiful statement piece. It's one that I find to be great for everyday wear, but also one that I think can easily be incorporated in any of your going out nighttime looks and one that can just easily be worn for any occasion, which is why I think it's, it's so great for quality. It's perfect for versatility because it just fits in with anything that you put on. You can wear a casual outfit, you can go out in a pair of joggers, tracksuit bottoms, or you could be wearing a really nice, pretty, classy dress. Or like today, I think this goes perfectly well with an outfit that I have that I find is both casual, but also a two-piece set that I can also wear out day to day. I love the way the doina chain looks on the neck. I find it to be so classy and so delicate. I mean, it's on my neck now and I can hardly feel it. And I love that about jewelry. I don't want things that are too heavy that are gonna irritate me when I'm out and about, but this is such a classic, beautiful everyday piece. And it's all about the quality. I absolutely love the gold finish on this. I think it's beautiful. I think it brings us such a really nice quality shine. And it's also about the versatility that this product brings. And for me, it's great because you can wear this on its own. You can also layer it up with other necklaces that you already own. I think this is a great layering piece actually, because you can wear this every day. And then if you want to go out and sort of spice your outfit up a little bit, you can put whatever chains you have at home on on top of this and it would look fantastic. Something else that I think is fantastic about this necklace is that it was designed in a way to one, wear it by itself, but two, you can also add pendants to it. So if I swing it round, you've got the clasp here that obviously holds the necklace together, but you can also add a pendant in the hole, which I think is fantastic. In three months time, people, Christmas is gonna be coming around. And this is such a beautiful piece to be able to buy for a family member or friend, or maybe your partner if you have one. So um, keep that in mind. So just a little bit about the brand. So Monica Venada is a British brand that basically offers luxury pieces that don't come with that hefty price tag and are actually affordable pieces that you can wear all the time. It has been seen in publications like Vogue. It's also been seen in Forbes and Who What Wear, and has also been seen on many celebrities like Kendall Jenner, Hailey Bieber, and Kerry Washington. And this is pretty much the direction that I personally want to go in in terms of buying pieces. I want quality pieces that are gonna last me a long time, a lifetime, pieces that I can wear all the time that won't tarnish. That is the main point. And I'd rather personally buy into quality even if I have to spend that just a little bit extra more, rather than having to buy pieces that are not real gold, that will just tarnish over time, and pieces that I will basically have to keep constantly buying just to have. All views of my own, I just don't think it's worth it. I'd rather have one gold necklace that I can wear every day for a lifetime, or a solid bangle, pair of rings, or a pair of earrings that I can just constantly wear that go with absolutely everything that I have in my wardrobe. So the gold jewellery that Monica Venada offers, or at least the Doina Snake chain necklace, 
actually is known as gold vermeil, which means it's not a solid piece of gold, but it is jewelry that is dipped in gold. And the pronunciation of that is vermeil. And I'm sure that you guys have probably heard this term recently, or at least over the past couple of years. And it's another point that I feel is probably the reason why this can actually come at such a great competitive price. So if you are interested in this piece or wish to find out more of what Monica Fernanda has to offer, they have so much on their website. So definitely, definitely see if you can have a look, but I will link the details down below. You can click on the link and have a look at everything. And just to note that new customers get 10% off and all customers get a five year warranty as well as free repair, which I think is absolutely fantastic. So yeah, definitely keep that in mind and invest it in yourself. And don't forget that Christmas is coming up soon. So you might want to just invest it for yourself or maybe some of your family members and loved ones. It will be a great Christmas present. On to my next styling tip. Another styling tip that I actually like to use is the two, three color rule. Um, now this I tend to use when I'm wearing neutrals a lot or even when I'm using color. And trust me, it works every single time. It's why it's so good. It's why I do it all the time. Sometimes I even do it unintentionally and don't realize until it actually comes to the time of posting it on Instagram. This summer, I actually did this rule quite a lot where I wore quite a lot of green and paired it with one other color. Green was one of those colors that was just a huge, big trend over this summer. And I wore a lot of it and definitely used a two, three color rule and trust me it worked i also used a solid set of three colors an example would be blue white and black i wore black trousers with either a white shirt or white tank top and then threw on a blue shirt over the top again just easy just the most simplest way to look chic and put together i always find that this rule works it's so easy to follow and you can never go wrong if you just think in the space of wearing two colors to stick to or either three. Something else that I did was quite interesting, which was actually wear one of the same color, but two different shades. I specifically did this with green and I'll input another example where I wore a darker shade of green in my trousers and then a light shade of green on my blouse. And this is something that a lot of people actually DM'd me about and said that one, it looks great, but also they didn't think to use just one color, but two different shades. So yeah, definitely try this out and actually let me know how you get on with it because I'd actually like to hear and also see some of your outfits. It would be great. Guys, this next tip is literally the golden rule in looking fantastic, looking chic, looking put together. If there is anything or any part of this video or advice that you are going to take away, please, please take this one with you. It literally is like the golden step to it all and that is to iron or steam your clothes please do either one of them it will really really help for me i use the Philips steamer and it works every time it's fantastic i can't stress the importance of this enough i have to admit i don't do this all the time with my clothes but i definitely make an effort when it comes to wearing shirts or light fabrics or just pieces that you know will give off a classy effect. Of course, things like loungewear, I'm not gonna spend the effort and time to steam, but definitely classic pieces, or like I said, shirts, things that are gonna deliver class, things that are gonna make you look elegant, please iron and steam your clothes. I would definitely recommend the Philips steamer. It really, really works for me. It makes everything look so polished. And it's also a really quick and easy step in getting dressed. If I just fill my steamer with water, literally heats up in 30 seconds, I'm good to go. And I steam down and I'm literally, like I'm ready in seconds. It's perfect. So yeah, super, super easy and quick and such a great tool to make you guys look put together easily. I actually use this on my styling clients and it works every time with all garments. It is absolutely fantastic. So definitely, if you can, have a look and invest in one. This next tip is one that you guys should take from me and run with. And that is the focus of shapes, materials, tailoring, all of that good stuff all in one. 
I really, really like paying attention to this because this is another thing that can really elevate any of your looks, especially playing around with materials and tailoring. You could wear a really nice polished suit and underneath have a completely different texture such as velvet or cotton that can really elevate your look. But for me, tailoring is key. It's something that I absolutely love. There have been times where I've visited a vintage store and I've picked up items that are four times my size that probably the average person would look at and just think, no, that's not gonna fit, I'm not gonna bother purchasing it. And you can get things quite cheap. You can buy something for, a, you know, a dress for five pounds, for example, or, you know, something for a tenner. It doesn't have to fit you, but you can take it to get tailored and a, a tailor will literally mold that piece to your body and it will be perfect and personal for you. Again, something else that can make you look easily chic, easily put together, something that you can just throw on. With tailoring particularly, examples that I love to do is a focus on trousers. I love a really good pair of black high-waisted trousers, whether that is straight leg or something that has either bell bottoms or wide leg at the bottom. Really, really great look. And that way you get the tailoring, you also get a different type of shape. And then I like to add something that is quite loose and flowy on the top. So a blouse or a shirt. If I'm gonna wear a shirt, I'd want it to be oversized just to, again, create this dimensional shape. But with the tailoring to the trousers, you you get that hourglass figure as well. So you get the really nice casual flow at the top, and then you get a sense of tight fitting at the bottom, which just ultimately easily makes anybody look chic and put together. Materials, shapes, tailoring, these are all points of styling that I feel fits well together. They're literally like matches made in heaven. And another example that I can give you, you can wear a dress and a blazer. I'm sure you guys have seen it over and over again from many content creators and influencers. It's such a great tip. It works every time. Pairing things that you probably don't think always go together, but are completely different shapes or completely different types of material. It always, always works. And you can wear a blazer and a pair of shorts. This is something else that we've seen. Cycling shorts that look like you're going to the gym and a blazer, a smart, casual feel. Works every time. So yeah, my advice to you all is that opposites attract and definitely feel free in having a go at this if you haven't. Wear a tight fitting item with a loose one, but don't go overboard. Don't completely dress yourself in all loose items that will look like you're pretty much drowning yourself in your items. And don't go for items that are tight completely over, unless of course you're wearing a dress to which again, you can throw over an oversized blazer over the top. Very, very simple way of styling. You can switch things up in many, many different ways of styling, but I feel like this tip works in wearing one loose item and one tight, uh, tight piece. And yeah, give it a go and let me know how you get on. This last tip that I want to leave you guys with is planning outfits. Now, I know that this sounds like most the most basic thing ever, and you're probably thinking, well, duh, obviously. But honestly, this tip saves so much time and so much hassle, and also saves you the panic in times where you might need to quickly go out or you are planning for an event. Planning ahead makes so much sense, and it's just gonna save you so much. So definitely see if you can try and use that. I must admit, this is something that I don't always do. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't, but it has definitely saved me in the past. I am the type of person that is a mood dresser. I will definitely dress for my mood. Obviously there's other factors in terms of where I'm going and what I'm doing. I live in the UK, so it's something that I definitely have to pay attention to. You never know what you're gonna get here, honestly. Rain, sun, shine, it changes every hour. You, you just don't know. Planning always helps. Sometimes inspo comes to me at the most bizarre moments, at night time is probably the, the hour that I plan most of my outfits. I could be set on just one piece, for example, a pair of shoes, and I would literally plan an outfit around that itself. I also get inspiration from other things like catwalks or catwalk books, as well as old bloggers like Cara Deras or Miroslava Duma, and artists like Solange. Solange is a great example. The woman is a piece of art. So is Rihanna. So there is plenty 
of inspiration to go around and if it's not Instagram there is also Pinterest. For those of you who don't use Pinterest you might want to start it's actually a really good tool and it's so easy to use for everybody. I actually like to use it when I am styling sometimes I use it to put mood boards together or right now obviously we are in the middle of autumn at this point and I'm actually in the middle of using it to create my autumn winter mood board style and this is something that you guys can use to refer back to when you're trying to put outfits together or you just don't know what to wear you can look at a mood board that you've created on Pinterest and pretty much just follow that something else you can do on Pinterest is if for example if you want to wear I don't know a particular type of clothing like a dress or let's say a pink shirt for example you can type in outfits with pink shirt or pink shirt outfits into the search bar and i can guarantee you hundreds and hundreds of examples of different outfits based on that one item will come up and you can literally just create an outfit from that or just pretty much if you wish just copy the outfit itself and that's it you're good to go um you can use a lot of it for inspiration for things that you already have in your wardrobe you don't always have to buy a new outfit guys please don't feel like you always have to buy something new just to be able to go out there you know express yourself and wear and style clothes you can easily look chick and put together just by finding inspiration on a tool like pinterest that gives it to you of course with instagram you can save posts and create groups from the posts that you've saved and just have outfits there that you can just easily look through that will give you inspo or outfits that you can copy. Um, shameless plug, if you ever look for outfit inspiration, I am guaranteed to give you that. So feel free to follow me over on Instagram at msmny and you will not only find outfits to copy and follow, but I will also be sharing some of the tips that I am sharing in this video. So you can definitely find the proof and reference for that. And I'll be sharing a lot more over time. But yeah, there's so many ways for you guys to find inspo and to be able to plan outfits. I actually like to plan outfits the night before I'm going somewhere. For work especially, this saves so much time. I cannot express this enough, honestly. Having an outfit already planned and laid out the night before, if I wake up, when I wake up late or I'm in a rush, I can easily shower, do my face, hair, the lot. Outfit's already there get dressed, go. Done deal. Literally, literally saves so much time. So definitely look into planning all of your outfits. But yeah, that is the last point that I want to share with you guys today. I hope you guys have enjoyed all the styling tips that I use for myself. Hopefully these can help you as well. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video and you found it useful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so you can stay tuned with so much more that I have coming your way. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.